Ben Rich is with us with the weather. Ben. Kate, it's not the best camping weather, I have to say, this weekend. Big clouds like this, never a great sign if you're sleeping under canvas. We've got some pretty impressive shower clouds out there. This one taken by a weather watcher in Cornwall. Those showers are heavy, thundery and turning wintry in places. Afternoon to you. We've got some really heavy rain pushing into the western parts of London at the moment, tracking its way eastwards, following on from those showers we saw earlier on this morning. Hello there, good evening to you. I'm going to do my forecast in reverse today because I want to show you the outlook for the start of next week. High pressure building, plenty of sunshine and our temperatures warming up as well. By Tuesday, we could see highs of 24 Celsius, possibly getting a bit warmer than that. But in contrast today, we have been in a bit of a cold snap. It's been a chilly day today. Tonight is looking cold. We will gradually see our showers clear and then through the rest of the week, it's mostly dry and bright, but it will stay quite breezy. Hi there, Sophie. Thank you. Good evening. The weekend is getting off to a chilly start. It has been cold enough for snow in some parts of the UK today. That was how it looked with some winchiness in the showers in the Scottish Highlands. Hello there, very good evening to you. There's plenty going on over the next few days, but before we get into it, just a reminder that the clocks spring forward an hour tomorrow night. But back to the weather. This is just a few headlines we can expect over the next few days, which will be pretty bonkers. Cold and wintry, yes, wintry. Not as unusual as you might expect at the end of March for some tonight. And then wet and very windy for some this weekend, particularly tomorrow night. And then as we move into next week, warm and sunny conditions are expected. When I say warm, well, let's put it this way. By the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday, some parts of the southeast could even challenge the March record, which has stood for over 50 years and that March record is more than 25 degrees.